Another package came in from Brownells. It's for the AR-15. Let's unbox it and see what we got. Brian Ellis packages their stuff very well to avoid damage, so appreciate that. All right, first up from Brown Ells is a Brown Ells part. Brown Ells bolt carry group. So if you didn't know, Brown Ells makes parts. Um, they don't just you know distribute and, and uh, provide parts from other manufacturers. They actually make their own parts. So I picked up their bolt carrier group for the AR-15. I'm confident this will be very good. I've checked the reviews and Brown Ells makes good stuff. So if you want to pick this up, you can actually save with BOP-10 on this particular part at checkout. Actually, everything here I save with BOP-10, so you can do the same. All right, the next thing in the package, there's only three things in here, um, was based off of my experience with the lower receiver and the lower parts kit that I picked up is a grip, a pistol grip. The one that came with the factory Aero Precision M4E1 lower kit. Just, I don't like the, the grip angle, so I picked up the B5 Type 23. Um, I have B5 on my PCC. It's just not the Type 23, but I've had this in my hand before. Um, one of my buddies has one on his AR-15. I like it, so I picked one up myself. Um, black, neutral, should be good. Easy plug and play piece. All right, so the last thing in here um, might stir some conversation in the comment section, so I'm prepared for it, so let's talk about it. I went ahead and got an upgraded trigger. I'm sure the mil spec trigger would be just fine, but I know I'm going to want something to be a little bit more crisp, and I want a flat face trigger shoe. I asked a couple people, got some advice, and I went with the Trigger Tech AR-15 Duty flat face trigger. I know this is a cassette style trigger. Um, some people don't like these for a variety of reasons. I don't intend on shooting mine as much, especially with the impending concerns on ammunition and the availability of it. I went with this style. I will practice pistol shooting more than I do rifle. This is a single stage 3.5 pound trigger. I will definitely be putting it on the trigger gauge to test it out to verify, but should be a simple drop in trigger. Uh, shout out to Trigger Dad for the recommendation. These are on sale at Brownells, and of course, use code BOP10 at checkout. So that concludes this week's video. Just a quick unboxing of the things we've got in the mail. I'm pretty sure that's everything I need for the AR-15. Um, if I'm missing something, I'll go back to Brownells and pick it up. One thing I don't have is an optic. I'm curious what you all would recommend for an optic. I'm considering Red Dot. That's just what I know. So I'd love for you to put it in the comment section down below. For my AR-15 build, what optic do you recommend? I'm open to all options. When you provide your recommendations, just give an explanation why. If you like this video, please hit like. Let's me know I'm doing a good job. If you want to see more videos from me about gun builds and content about the community, range days, all types of stuff, please subscribe. I post videos every week at the least, if not more than once a week. And if you have any questions or feedback about anything you've seen in today's video, drop a comment in the comment section down below and we'll communicate and try to normalize this content for the 2A community. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.